are you? I'm Donna. So this video is about our first trip to Tokyo in Japan. And first we observed that there's so many ramen shops and oyster shops and then many more shops. I just think that there's so many ramen shops in Tokyo. The first thing we did or we eat when we reached Tokyo is to have a ramen. And then after walking for a while, we had another ramen. And then the next day for breakfast, we had ramen. So after that, during lunch, we decided not to have any more Japanese food. So we ended up uh, finding this cheapest buffet in Shibuya. So it's actually our first time in Shibuya and as I said, there's so many restaurants and food shops to choose from aside from the local Japanese food, there's so many western food to choose from and it took us a while to choose where will we eat so we basically walk um, the area and then we cannot decide what to eat since we had so many ramen um, previously when we reached we reach here so we decided to get um, something not Japanese and then we find out this buffet pizza which actually um, quite interesting because um, it's very cheap so we decided to get in What's that? Is that chickens or what? Yeah. That's not bad. Two hours. So we ended up here in Shikis, in Shibuya. So it says eat all, all you can eat for that. But this is meat days for that. But today's weekend. So we ended up here in when you're married, you gotta have to go give and take. So if you have like a ramen for dinner and a ramen for breakfast, you have to give it to your non-Asian husband to choose for a lunch. So this is not a bad choice because um, pizza is good and they have like a lot of salad bar. I'll show you later. This is okay, right? Pasta pizza. Okay. Yeah. So I'll show you later. We'll eat first. So this is my pizza. This is a different type. There's a lot of flavor in there. So I will show you later. So this is what we got for the buffet. We got three types of pasta. Pepperoni, pepperoni on the side. Seasoned cut rice, spaghetti. Creamy bolognese, spaghetti. And you also cut the fried bacon. And because this is a pizza, so a pizza buffet, the dessert as well is pizza. We'll get some apple pizza and choco brown pizza. Hawaiian delight, and onion. There's different flavor. They cook it so fresh. It's not just lying around here. So if this is fun, there's new, really fresh cooked pizza. We'll come out and I'll show you the bar. Salad bar. So this one is the salad bar. And I specifically like this seaweed and this. This one, that this itself is a meal, and the corn is also fresh. They have that. If you, if you want like the rice with the curry, you can have 
have it as well. They have like uh, the water you don't have to buy your drinks if you don't want to because the drink is not included on the 1200 so you have to pay to, to have to buy your drinks separately. This is the biggest one, which is 363. If you're a big one like this, it's not refillable. And I just had another. So I think this is a very good price, and the pizza is good as well. So because this is a uh, pizza buffet, and the dessert as well is pizza. Apple pie. Apple pie. Cinnamon. 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 And the other one is uh, chocolate crumble. There was only one when I went. Another one, chocolate biscuit. Ch chocolate biscuit, pizza, dessert. They don't have apple crumble anymore. They're still cooking. So this is actually good. How was your lunch? That was okay. It's a good value for the money. If you are not so um, juicy or you're not so fussy, fussy about the food, that's okay. I'm not really a pizza person, but I think the pizza is good. Not, not the pasta, not to my liking because I want it soft. But 1,200 for a limited pizza and pasta and uh, salad bar, I think that's cheap. It's very cheap. And um, they have like um, limited water that you can drink with lots of ice and seaweeds. I 
like it and who doesn't like it so all in all it's a good one